Are you guys landing the Huskies at Napoleon? Affirmative. Awesome. Hey guys, Goose here. Hey, uh, friends wanted me to do a little video on how I approach a crosswind. Uh, I don't know if my background, uh, former F-16, F-4 military, 7-3 captain current with AA and a longtime GA. So I approach uh, this as follows. Uh, if you'll watch this with me and then we'll break it down afterwards. So nasty crosswind today, 50 degrees off, 12 to 15 knots, uh, pretty much close to the limit of the Husky and knowing going in. Usually the winds die off a little bit as you approach the runway, of course, but you need to figure out what those winds are ahead of time if you can. And you can look at the trees or the flags or whatever and give you uh, help with that. What I do though is I fly my base airspeed, so I figure out today's going to be about 70. I carry that plus the gust, so I'll be above that most of the time or at it or slightly above it. I visualize the controls that I need going in, so I know I've got a left quartering crosswind. I stabilized, I try to kill the drift. Remember the aileron is your friend. It uses the adverse yaw, so you're going to keep it in all the way. Napoleon, flight of two Huskies entering a left downwind, runway uh, 27, Napoleon. You're going to maintain precise control of the airplane as much as allows. Drive it on, stick it, and then get through that transition as quickly as you can where the airplane's not flying anymore. So uh, watch this out, and then uh, I'll share a few thoughts at the end there. Hold those controls to the very, very end. Okay, so specifically here, I'm on downwind. I'm below 80 miles an hour. That's Husky speed for flaps. I'm around 70, and I put 20 degrees of flaps in, and I don't change flaps after that, so I fly the approach. You see the gusts in the... Uh, uh, airspeed bouncing back and forth, and I will fly that all the way around to touchdown. Napoleon Husky, uh, final two seven, full stop. Napoleon five hundred. Husky 2, short final, 2, 7, no problem. Just drive her on. As you can see, it was pretty sporty, but what I want to note right there is you saw my AOA system still barking at me, even in a very slow speed situation. So the airplane's still kind of flying. So you want to keep those controls in. And you know, as I come to a stop here, of course, my left wind, I'll end up uh, keeping those controls in as I turn into the wind and then reverse them as needed, depending on where the wind's coming. So, because the airplane wants to keep flying at slow air speeds. So let's break it down. Okay, so here I am on final, base airspeed 70. You know, I did let the airspeed get a little wandering, but you can see it's gusting five, six, eight miles an hour up there. So I'm looking for about 75, and that's what I'm targeting. I'm rolling the aileron into the wind here, and I've got right rudder. You can see my right knee down farther than my left knee. And what I'm just fighting here is to try to get stabilized. I personally also keep an eye on my AOA and uh, make sure I don't see anything into the yellow very far. So we're just trying to get the airplane stabilized, and that's the exercise all the way in. As it gets a little closer, of course, we, uh, we tend to move the stick a little more and maybe even a little more than needs, but we're just trying to keep it stabilized. 
Now I start transitioning to the flare. I see that I've got the extra airspeed, so I crack the power back a little, and then I keep driving it on until I put that left wheel down. The left wheel comes down first. You see that I stick it and then get that aileron right back in there. The tendency is to let go of the aileron, and then that razor flaps. That allows me to uh, to uh, kill the, ta the lift on the tail, basically, and glue the airplane to the ground. And you'll notice as I'm rolling out, there's still a bit of airspeed on the airplane, even though my ground speed's pretty low. Um, you know, you can see the airspeed, and you can see the, the needle still carrying airspeed. So I do have some headwind. So we're going to keep all that stuff in there, the uh, controls and the rudder, and we're going to bring the airplane all the way to taxi speed, and then you just slowly figure out what it's going to take. If I let go of that aileron right now, I guarantee you, I guarantee you that airplane would turn left. And I don't want that. Now, again, grass is forgiving, but it's the same principles. So anyway, I wanted to share that with you. And, uh, you know, I wish everybody good luck on the crosswind. That's kind of the one of the more challenging things that we all learn how to do. And uh, like I said, a couple of my friends wanted me to share my thoughts with it because I've been doing this for quite a long time as well. And I just wanted to share that. Enjoy.